So now let's talk about how we would write a driver class in Java. We have a class that we've written. Here we have a car class, the make, model, year, right? We have the fields, we have a constructor, we have the accessor and mutator methods, we have the behavior methods, and then we have a two-string method. So we have a class, but if we run this, nothing's going to happen because we're not doing anything. This is just a blueprint to actually have objects. So now we need to create a driver class. So I'm going to say new class, and I'm going to call this car driver, because this is going to be a driver for our car class, which of course I realize now the car was a bad example for this because a car has a driver that's not a driver class, but um, hopefully that'll, that distinction will be clearer. My driver class is going to have a main method, and what I'm going to use the driver class for is to test the code or to do something with the class that I've created. So I want to have a main method. That's where my program is going to start. So I'm going to initially just print out that this is a driver for the car class. And now you see it runs, but I don't have any cars yet. Let me define some cars. So car one will be a new car. And then we have make model and then year. And remember the speed we don't have as part of our constructor. So then for car two, we'll say Ford Mustang, and we'll say 1993. So now we have our two cars. Let's go ahead and make a third. Okay, so there we have three cars, and now we can print those cars. Now, since we have a two string method in our car class, we can treat the cars as strings. And if I do that, then the string method will get called automatically. So here I've printed with a print line with the three cars. And if I run this, you can see that it prints those cars out. Now, another thing I can do is I can call the behaviors that we have for those classes. So I can say car one, accelerate, and we'll accelerate to 60 or to 50 since that's how I typed it. Car two will accelerate. Again, notice how Eclipse helps you. It gives you a list of the methods that are valid there. So I'll say accelerate, and then we'll accelerate to 75. And then car three will accelerate to 60. And then let's say that car two needs to slow down. So we will apply the brake and we'll slow down by five miles an hour. And actually, let's say that car three, let's apply the brake and we're going to slow down by 100 miles an hour. And that'll test that our brake method works and that if you slow down more than the speed you're going will allow, it'll just have your car stop and you'll go zero miles an hour. So let me copy these print line statements that we had above. Now, instead of just printing out the car, I'll print out the speed and I'll say is going. We'll get the speed and then I'll say miles per hour. Oh, I'm missing a quote there and I think that looks pretty good. So now if I run this, you can see that I have the initial values and then it's accelerated to 50, it's going 50. Car two accelerated to 75 and then applied the brake five, so it's going 70. And then car three accelerated to 60, applied brake 100, which that means it's going to result in zero, zero. This driver class has tested that the object does what I want it to do. And that's really its only purpose. There's not anything magical about a driver class. A driver class is really just a class with a main method that we use to exercise the behaviors of the object, creating objects, printing them out, and testing their behaviors. And that's all really that a driver class does, or at least that's all that what we call a driver class does. There are other things that you could call a driver class, but for our purposes, when we're learning how to write Java code, a driver class is exactly this. It's a class with a main method that we use to test out our code. So we're going to create three car objects. We're going to print the objects, the cars, by using the two string implicitly, meaning we don't actually call the two string here, but when you use the object as a two string, it gets called. 
And I will add an empty line here just to give us that. Then we're going to test the behaviors. And that last print verifies that the changes were made as we expected. So let's run this now that I've updated it. Even if you just add a comment, it's always a good idea to test your code because it's not uncommon for someone to do something with a comment that keeps their code from compiling. And especially if you're submitting that as an assignment, that's a problem. Okay, so when we say a driver class, we're not talking about something specific. We're just talking about a class that can be used to test out your classes. In fact, you could put a main method in your class and then when you run just the class, that could be your driver. That's perfectly acceptable, but typically you'll see a class not have that main method, which indicates that it's designed to be used as part of another, a bigger program. And so in that case, a separate driver class could be used to test that class.